A bird in the hand is better than two in the bush. A hard lesson for Dr. Oz after he lost his Senate bid and now is desperately seeking to get back on television. He wants his TV show back. Oops. And everyone is telling him, no, we're not interested. Bye bye, as Trump once said. <laughs> now, Radar Online reports that Oz is groveling to everyone he knows in order to revive his daytime talk show where cool. he sells snake oil to people. Um, I added that part. Uh, in order to revive his daytime talk show about health, but the effort has been dead on arrival, much like his political career. Oops. His former producers reportedly won't talk to him, and Radar characterized him as too toxic for TV. Now, look, if he wanted his show back and the producers and the showrunner, all those people were like, no, because you're Republican and we just don't like Republicans. I would disagree with this, Like, I don't think that's okay. But what came out about Dr. Oz during his campaigning, I think um, made all the difference in the world. Making fun of someone who was recovering from a stroke, John Fetterman. Uh, the news story about the Murder of 300 dogs that his company carried out. I mean, there it was just one thing after another. So let me give you the details. One anonymous source told Jezebel, um, or told Radar Online and Jezebel reported on it. No one in the mainstream will touch him. You can't alienate half of your audience with a political stance and expect to bring in an audience on your return to television. Another source said he can't even get a word with his former producers. Dr. Oz is a social creature who likes to hear himself talk. And it's beginning to dawn on him that he's just not wanted in Hollywood circles anymore. By the way, Jenk and I once had a conversation with him. I think it was when we were at a conference or something in Portugal, right? Yep, that's right. And yeah, he definitely loves to hear himself talk. That's 100% true. Yeah, some people when they sit down, they're not listening to you at all. They no. just want to pontificate, right? So he's like, okay, let me tell you what's wrong. And then you tell me how you can help. And I'm like, I don't remember agreeing to that, <laughs> okay. So anyways, um, uh, look, he, the most delicious part of the story is not even the, uh, the fact that he can't get his career back. It's that he loves that Hollywood stuff. He loves being like going in those cocktail parties, etc. Mm. And now that he's uh, persona non grata, and he can't get the crudite that he used to get at those parties. Yep. Oh, that's got a sting. Yep. Oh. Uh, so, look, guys, think about it. It makes tons, a ton of sense, right? So, uh, one of his most controversial things was the crazy answer he gave about abortion uh, during the run, and um, most of the daytime audience is female and pro-choice. So now you're gonna send this guy who say, oh, Borsh, I'm gonna judge you, okay? And women shouldn't have that right. The government should have the right to control your bodies. Hey, I'm back, women, okay? And would you like to see me do a show? And the answer seems to be a resounding no, we would not like to see that. Yeah. Uh, by the way, here's a fact that people don't often talk about, and this article didn't, but a lot of uh, the uh, television audience is also African American, much more heavily African American than the general uh, population. Uh, and African Americans didn't like what Dr. Oz had to say in that race either. So my God, I mean, you can't have damaged your demographic more than he did with this run. Yep. To me, there's another interesting part of the story, which is that basically Trump and Oz have been testing that old adage, there is no such thing as bad publicity, mm. right? Apparently there is. Yeah, can I give you examples, specific examples with yeah. Dr. Oz? Because I wanna make sure, I mentioned the thing with the dogs, but there's more. So it was also the damaging reporting that his medical research killed more than 300 dogs. Him speaking, I didn't even know about this. Him speaking at a high dollar fundraiser in front of Hitler's car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and his stupid comments about abortion. Yeah. What? Why would you do a fundraising event where you do a speech in front of Hitler's car? So to be fair to Dr. Oz, we got no love for Dr. Oz as you could tell in this story and a thousand other stories. Uh, he's not a Kanye, right? He was doing an event, and I think it was like a museum or something like that, and so it wasn't like Kanye-like. At the same time, when there's a camera and and you're doing a speech in front of Hitler's car, move, move. You can't do that. That's so dumb, right? So, okay, none of that plays well. Okay, so look, the thing about uh, folks who are this wealthy 
and this famous for these this many years. They don't know when to stop and just go away and well, enjoy their wealth and never like be in public again. First of all, that's true. Yeah. But but also they get high on their own supply. And so they they become convinced that they're invincible. And so I'm guarantee you that he is actually genuinely shocked that he can't get his show back. He probably thought, what, I got publicity, my job is publicity. I get publicity no matter what, Oh, I get sell garbage medicine that doesn't work, I get more publicity. Hey, I got bigger TV contracts after I sold that crap, right? I got dragged in front of Congress, I got humiliated, I got even bigger ratings and I got even bigger contracts, right? And so he's probably like, what, I can't say terrible things about everybody forever? I mean, And that it has a consequence, I bet you he's shell shocked by it. But you know, Dr. Oz is different from all of the other right wing grifters in America in that he does have a skill and his skill prior to you know the television career and the political run and everything was a surgeon. So he could go back to having a real job. Oh Yeah, yeah. He could open up a private practice, but that would require actually working and working hard, right? Yeah, but to, again, we're the fairest show in America. Dr. Oz was a great heart surgeon. Uh, not like the clowns uh, on the right wing that pretend to be good at things and aren't. You could go back and do good in the world. You can go back to being a heart surgeon, save people's lives. That's a noble profession. And by the way, it also pays a ton of money, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so, but I would be surprised if he did that. And if he does, I'd be surprised if it wasn't a publicity stunt. But hey, whatever, I'll take it, right? Go back to doing something decent in your life when you were a good person. And yes, that actually did exist back in the day. Uh, and yes, I'm biased because he actually did heart surgery on my uncle. Okay, and fairest man in America, right? Like, I mean, that would bi like bias people so significantly that like they'd feel uncomfortable criticizing the surgeon who saved their uncle, right? But yeah, like, yeah, he was yeah. terrific in saving my uncle, but that doesn't give him the right to be a prick to everyone else. Yeah. So, well, and our job is to be honest with you here, and so. Uh, last part of that is I'll admit also, mm -hmm. honestly, Anna, that there were parts of this story that I didn't know. So I didn't know he was still on the air until he started to run. He was still doing his TV show? I know, Jay. He was in his 13th season, still selling that garbage? Daytime okay. television is not for people like us. Like, we're not, when, when, when would we watch daytime television? Oh, we don't have time. I <laughs> yeah. know. But I know, I'm just surprised that, it's, that it kept going, which goes to show you the quackery does work, mm -hmm. right? Because look, the. Oh. When I started turning on Dr. Oz is when he started selling fake medicine. Like that could turmeric? really hurt people. Turmeric, turmeric. I okay. remember visiting my parents and being gifted the biggest jar of turmeric you could ever imagine. Are you because kidding it was me? gonna solve all my ailments, of course. Of course, all of my, my, my dad too, and <laughs> it was on fire in the Turkish community, turmeric. Yeah, okay. all, all, all turmeric does is stain things, okay? That's it, that's all it does. Or I know it's also used in food, obviously, but like, be careful with that turmeric. Yeah, and <laughs> be careful with TV doctors. Mm -hmm. And uh, and apparently, he spent twenty seven million dollars of his own money on the campaign, and then lost uh, a Republican seat by even more than Trump lost Pennsylvania. Oh, it's so delicious! Ouch! You're gonna need a doctor for that. Oof. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.